lies and your temptations, don't wake up for prayer. Don't go to the prayers. Don't. Forget about it. Just live a life of disbelief. Live a life of temptations and desires. Go for whatever you wish for, whatever you desire with no boundaries. And you will earn a place in Jahannam, no doubt. That is what the Prophet ﷺ is trying to tell us. Now, because he's so compassionate and so merciful, our Messenger, and Allah SWT was most merciful, he has warned us. Intricately and with detail and with understanding, he warned us about the things that make us enter hellfire. Because that Allah, God, doesn't want anyone to enter it. At the same time, he is just. So those who disobey him cannot enter heaven with those who have obeyed him. So you might as well just sit down and do nothing at all. And you will enter heaven with all the good people. Even you can be bad as bad as you like. There's no justice in that. And God is not unjust or unjust. So hellfire is earned, my dear brothers and sisters. Listen to this other hadith. The Prophet wasallam said, when he spoke to his companions about heaven and how beautiful it was, he said to them, everyone shall enter heaven. Huh. Everyone, everyone, shall enter heaven. So because of the compassion of Allah and His Messenger وسلم, they want everyone to enter heaven. So we said, everyone shall enter heaven illa man aba, except he or she who refuses, doesn't, doesn't want to. Everyone will enter heaven except those who don't want to enter it. If you don't want to, you're not going to. If you want to, you will. They said, Ya Rasulullah, his companions got confused a bit. وَمَنْ يَأْبَى يَا رَسُولَ الله. And who is it that will refuse to want to enter heaven? He said, مَنْ أَطَاعَنِي مَنْ عَصَانِي فَقَدْ أَبَى Whoever disobeys my guidance, then they have refused. That's how we refuse. Because what is the use of a person wanting to become a doctor or an engineer or a plumber or earn a good trade or something or want to reach something that is valuable and just sits down and wishes for it but doesn't do anything in its path. Can you ever become what you aim for? Can you brothers? Can you reach something you aim for just by merely wishing for it? Can you? Hmm? Can you? No, we can't. Answer then, inshallah. Answer with, with confidence, inshallah. So therefore, you must go by a path and a guidance. By going by the path of the Prophet ﷺ, then you want to enter heaven. By refusing him, the messenger of God, who created the heavens and the hell, and hellfire, then you refuse. And you want to go to hellfire. So this is the idea. It is your choice. And the books and the information is available for you. You just need to ask. Wallahi, just ask with a sincere heart and you will get there. Within a few months, mashallah, you'll find your knowledge has exceeded all bounds and your practices are, mashallah, excellent. But it only takes your first step, your initial step. My brothers and sisters in Islam, for anybody to think that hellfire, Jahannam, is anything like the fire of this earth, then they truly do not understand anything about hellfire. Not one bit. For the Prophet ﷺ tells us that Jahannam, hellfire, is 70 folds, 70 folds. We don't know what these folds mean, but let's say it's 70 times more. 70 folds more intense in its heat and its blaze and its terror and its horror and its, de and its, uh, and its damage than the normal fire which you use on earth. Imagine any kind of intense heat on earth, my brothers and sisters. Anything. And don't just think about the fire that you light up with a match. That's just one form of fire on this earth. There is electricity, and electricity is from fire. It's energy. Any kind of energy that can destroy or can light up or can bring about things of energy, of any type of energy is called fire in Arabic. Now, the lava that erupts from volcanoes is also fire. And not just the flame that you see and the blue, everyone thinks the blue flame is the most intense heat. Yes, of the normal fire that you light up, 
But fire means many different things. The lightning that you hear from the, when the thunder goes up. Allahu Akbar, the amount of damage that that lightning can, can, can make, that's also fire. Heat can be so intense on earth, it also goes beyond our imagination. So Jahannam is 70 folds even more than that. And if Jahannam was just a glimpse were to be shown on earth, it will burn the whole universe and everything in sight. The sun which you see, the sun which gives us a little bit of warmth, that is millions of kilometers away from us. If you were to come maybe two kilometers or five kilometers closer to earth, it will burn everything. It will burn everything. I want you to imagine being burnt, having your finger burnt only. Just put your finger over a matchstick and try to burn your finger. Obviously you won't because that's forbidden. But anyway, imagine the intense pain that a person goes through. They say that there is nothing more painful than fire burning a human being. And hell fire is 70 folds more than any intense fire on earth. So much so that one time Jibreel alayhi salam, Gabriel, and with him Israfil, another angel, they came to see the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And the Prophet peace be upon him saw Israfil with his head tucked down and his, he was, he had, his color had changed. Then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi asked Jibreel, ما لي أرى إسرافيل هكذا? Why do I see Israfil alayhi salam like that with a pale face? And Jibreel alayhi salam said, Today, Jib, uh, Israfil has seen hellfire for the first time. And this is why you see his changed face. In fact, the Prophet sallallahu told us, when Allah created Jahannam, before He created the human beings, the angels fell down on their faces in prostration to God, out of fear. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to them, Lift your heads, my angels, for I have created hellfire for those who challenge me and disbelieve in me and blasphemize against me and slander me and, and reject me and disobey me deliberately. It is not for you. The angels then said, Oh, our Lord, we can never feel safe and secure from hellfire until we know of its inhabitants or we see them. So then Allah created the human beings and the jinns and then their hearts became at ease the angels hearts became at ease the angels themselves fear hellfire the Prophet Sallallahu described so much about hellfire and I'm going to go through that inshallah however let us listen to some verses from the Quran Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala does not cease speaking about hellfire in the Quran because he warns us like someone who is warning you from a volcanic eruption and your house is there and you live there they come to you and they inform you and warn you days before you thank them for this warning and this is our compassionate messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam and this is our compassionate lord allah warning us from such an intense punishment on the day of judgment and guiding us allah says in the quran in جهنم كانت مرصادا للطاغين مآبا لابثين فيها أحقابا لا يذوقون فيها بردا ولا شرابا إلا حميما وغساقا جزاء وفاقا إنهم كانوا لا يرجون حسابا وكذبوا بآياتنا كذابا وكل شيء أحصيناه كتابا فذوقوا فلن نزيدكم إلا عذابا which means verily جهنم is awaiting awaiting for those who are criminals against their Lord. It is awaiting and waiting 
for those who reject their Lord. When they enter it, and when they are forced into it, Allah says, they will live in there forever. Ahqaba, generations after generations, centuries after centuries after centuries. They will never feel any kind of coolness in there. Nor will they feel or taste any kind of water or drink to quench their thirst in there. Except only lava to drink and acid. And food 